Um, I've not been before. You've not been before? Ever. It's I've my been first time. You've been four times. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, four uh, times. More times than I can count on one hand. Uh, uh, but you've been you've been a lot. Four times, yeah. Yeah, a lot. Um, which means you're obviously going to potentially be quicker than me. Uh, cool. All right. Well, let's hope we get to the track and we'll um, we'll see what's on. Look at that. Big oh, dark this, cloud. Back looks good though, doesn't it? Yeah, I think so. Sorry, we're not in a rush. We're always in a rush. We're never on time. We're always late. It's always Bradley's fault. Sam is always blowing like a granddad. Still putting your shoes on? Still putting my shoes on, yes. Sweaty. This takes hours. So we're at Rye House. Sam's just getting into his car. There's a seat over. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so first thoughts, right house. I mean, this is the first time I'm seeing it. Mm. Um, really, really nice track, actually. It's nice, and the only thing is, it's um, a bit wet. It's a bit wet. Okay, this is Rye House, this is Heat 1, and away we go. So uh, this is the Rye House Sprint Series. The format of the day was uh, you got split into lightweights and heavyweights at the start, and then there was three heats and a final. Um, you started a heat, one heat from the front, one heat from the middle, one heat from the back, and that set your grid position for the final, and then the top eight from that made it into the super final. Yeah, there's 16 carts, including us, uh, which is why at the start of heat one, in fact, at the start of all the heats, it gets really busy. Uh, people trying to find the positions. That's why I was trying to do. We're on Sammy now, who, uh, to be fair, you're you're fighting for your position. You're doing quite well there to get your your way up the ranks. Yeah. So this car I had had brand new tyres on it when I first left the pits. So after a couple of warm up laps, I felt like I had quite a lot of grip, which was which was surprising um, and also Rye House has been resurfaced within the last year so it's a very very grippy grippy track even with a little bit of grease and water uh, strewn across it there was water <laughs> on the track it yeah. was uh, I'd say it was a wet day uh, the rain held off um, for all the heats I think actually but there was definitely rainfall beforehand hence why you'll see on parts of the track there are some obvious puddles and a lot of drivers did go through uh, a said puddles. <laughs> so we're mainly looking at my highlights in this one, that obviously changes throughout the video, you'll see more of Brad. But uh, this was your first time at, at Rye House, wasn't it? Yes, yeah, so my first time, never been before. And actually I really enjoyed the track layout. Um, for most of it, uh, especially the first three or four laps, I was just trying to work out uh, how to take the corners, uh, what lines to take, um, and I was following a lot of people who have been before. I uh, tried to follow you, but you <laughs> quickly got away. Um, maybe it's the new tyres you had. Uh, but yeah, really enjoyed it. Um, even though it was a little wet, it still made things a bit more exciting. So yeah, it was good. Yeah, I found my, uh, my racecraft could have been a lot better during this. I think I was going for some moves that I shouldn't have been going for that slowed me down, and then yeah, not not making passes in the right places and getting caught up in, in the wrong place. Yeah, I was trying to judge um, my breaking points. Quite often I would give people a little tap, uh, not on purpose, just uh, through sheer lack of judgment. 
and that's the end of Heat 1. Done race one. Yeah. Uh, I'm fucked. I'm sweating. Um, I started so warm. I started dead last. Uh, P16. Bradley started ninth. Nine. Yeah. Not sure where we finished. I think I finished tenth. Um, and you finished. I think I finished probably last, if not second, but last. That start um, was. I've never seen like it. It was like free for all. Yeah, it was mental. It is crazy. You spun. I spun, but then somebody like bumped me from behind, which spun me back into place. Mm. So it was fine. Okay, heat two highlights, here we go. You can enjoy some split screen action. I feel like this really adds to the chaos of the start. Yeah, and there is a lot of chaos. Um, we're all packed up here, uh, just like we were in heat one. Uh, lots of bumping, uh, lots of people fighting for positions. I started off in P1, uh, which was <laughs> <laughs> nerve-wracking for me uh, but to be honest within seconds people are straight past me but that's that's the point of this race you start off in different positions yeah so I think this was what I started from the middle in this race you started from the front right to the front um, yeah I, I really enjoyed this heat it was good I wasn't I think I was quicker in heat one uh, maybe something to do with the newer tires and the other car but I, I was definitely quicker in heat one a couple of tenths my fastest lap um, but yeah it's it's a really competitive uh, series, and even you know, there's obviously the quick guys at the front that obviously race there quite a lot, and they're, and they're very quick. You know, I think they were nearly a second a lap quicker than, than both of us. But there's people all around a similar pace. You're always finding people to battle with. By this point, I'm used to the track. Let's say I'm, you know, expecting. Uh, the corners and I'm aware of the lines that I need to take. Um, with this seat though I had a few problems with my seat. Uh, mo Ooh, that was, uh, yeah, that was a <laughs> bad bump. Um, yeah, uh, there's times where I'm, I'm holding the steering wheel with, with, with one hand. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not doing that on purpose. My, I'm trying to push my seat forward because it kept moving back. So I had a few complications. Uh, this is you coming up behind me yeah. um, straight and straight up. past me. Um, it's the nice thing about this track is that there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of good overtaking opportunities as we take another look at me going past you. Um, <laughs> Quick uh, wave. <laughs> I think the uh, the last corner is a really great place to overtake because if you if you mess that up, you really compromise your run down the down the straight and it kind of messes you up into the first corner. The first corner is a good place to overtake. It's like a long double apex. Um, and then this is you getting back past me as I get caught up in yeah, and all then, the chaos. And then and then straight past this guy. Uh, uh, again, the beauty with this track is that there are plenty of opportunities to get your pace up on the straights, um, which is what makes this place so much fun. Um, and still fighting for my position. Um, and quickly people pass me, uh, which is no surprise. Yeah, there's not a lot of time. You get that nice long straight where you get a bit of a bit of a break, but the rest of it's quite full on. You're always always on, concentrating. Number fourteen in the same suit as me. Uh, 
we're very similar there, but very different uh, on track. He was certainly had better pace than I did. That was uh, the end of heat two. Right, this is heat three, lights are green and off we go. I've got to be honest, by this point I am really feeling it. My arms are killing me. Yeah, I was really feeling it. I had I had a bit more motivation because this was the heat that I started from the front. So I started in P2 uh, on the outside, which I think maybe is a slightly better line to, to start on. Um, especially if you're nearer the back, I think you can make up more positions if you're on the outside on the start. But um, which is where I was. I was at the back uh, and just looking ahead to the huge pack of drivers, thinking, how am I going to get through this? Um, but I think you did well from where you started. Yeah, I, I didn't finish very well, as, as you'll see, but I um, the first couple of laps I felt okay. There's a lot of, you could see me there a lot looking around, I think, instead of just focusing on my race. By this point, I've been passed by quite a few carts. Uh, I think, like we said before, the, the quick guys on this track are a good, a good second a lap quicker than, than we were. Um, I think by the end of the day, we were only like about three tenths off each other, quickest laps. Yeah, um, definitely an improvement though. some positions I had a bad run out the final corner and I got that's, that's three carts in one corner three positions in one corner I lost I made one of them back um, what happened I just got, I got a bad run out the final corner and then the three carts that were behind were all kind of drafting and pushing each other along which meant they just sailed past and I couldn't kind of get in to do the corner I ended up you know taking a really wide line in the corner and really slowed me down quite a lot yeah once you take that wide corner it's then hard to pull it back afterwards. Ooh, wow. Real life Mario Kart there. Some uh, tyres got kicked up on the track. And that's Heat 3. This is the final, this is one that counts, right? 
Yeah, this is the one that counts. Unfortunately, I didn't have a very good final. <laughs> you really didn't. You uh, really didn't. Probably um, emphasised by the fact there are pretty much no highlights from me in this entire clip. Yeah, there aren't, are there? No, I just... Uh, I mean, I decided to just put you in the highlights because I didn't have any highlights. You don't generally have highlights when you're driving around at the back on your own. This is a start. Same chaos as always. Brad goes for a big lunge like, up the inside of me. <laughs> on the, uh, yeah. And this on the third corner. Physically, um, I'm, um, I'm I'm really not there anymore. Um, but the adrenaline is still high, so I still feel like I've got the confidence to uh, to take some proper lunges that that definitely shouldn't have happened. Um, but it's getting a bit darker now. Um, but this is the final. We'll we'll stop talking and just let you enjoy this. didn't check in after heat three yeah uh, heat three I started second and I finished 12th because I'm fucking terrible um, uh, Bradley started 16th and I finished started 16 and finished 14th 14th and then I think, yeah the final yeah. I started Do you 13th say? Bradley started 14th I finished plum last not a racing driver excuse, my car was a second the last To be slower. fair, it was, it was slow. Absolutely yeah, yeah. terrible. Yeah, um, yeah, that's gutting. And I started 13th and finished 13th, nice. so kind of no, held my position. No, you started 14th, finished 13th, then you made a position. Oh yeah, 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 that's right, yeah, yeah. Um, and now I'm absolutely fucked. knackered, yeah, I know you've got to drive back. Oh, you've gosh. got to drive us back home now. Yeah, that's fine, I'll try not to crash. <laughs> I, I, I can't do this anymore. I'm just, I'm broken. I can't do this anymore. I feel like, you know, what I like to say is back markers, I feel like one of us has to finish at the back. Yeah, I love how, by the way, the back markers, and on the final, we were the back markers. We literally, you were 13th, I was 14th. Yeah. Uh, but, you terrible. know, I'm actually quite happy that I held uh, I held my position. There was a few, a few, few bumps. Mm. Cue GoPro footage. <laughs> with that first time at White House yeah tick you like it what do you think, what do you think yeah, it's nice yeah yeah tracks really really fun yeah. uh, rain held off just there was some puddle action a bit earlier yeah um but I just want to go and eat and sleep man yeah it's fucking yeah. knackered how every success <laughs> every successful race trip should finish <laughs> McDonald's. Got to be done, isn't it? Okay, right. Subscribe, like, share, comment. Done. Thanks. Bye. Bye.